What is server-driven UI? It's a technique used by companies like Airbnb, Lyft, and Zapier to make their pages and layouts a lot more manageable. So first, what is wrong with hard coding your pages? You build components and then you turn those Lego blocks into pages. When you hard code the entire page layout, which has lots of different boxes and texts and images, what you need is to hook that up into a CMS. So you essentially build what you could call form of death, where you have a form field for every input. And then even worse things can happen. Your marketing teams, they need to make changes. Maybe now every column needs a button. That's more code to add, to hard code into the layout, and to add a whole bunch of new CMS fields for. Maybe you need a new section entirely, or maybe you need variations, like an A-B test. As you can imagine, that starts to get very complicated to hard code all these variations. So an emerging technique is actually to use layouts as JSON, something that you can deliver over an API. So you just build components, those Lego blocks, and the API can dictate who sees what information in what order. In the example above, you can see we're just using a simple format where we have a component name and the props. It can be an array, you can have these take children, and this simple structure can actually solve very complex problems. Then you can just create a simple component that iterates over that JSON provided by the server. It looks up which component to render from a map and then renders it with the props provided. In many cases, you'll just use this for regions on your website. Certain parts of the website are complex and should be right there soldered into your code. But areas like parts of pages, more marking driven areas, landing pages, you may wanna consider a server driven approach and now this can bring in other advantages. A-B tests can be delivered over an API, changing the layout, changing the text, changing the images in a very server-driven and performant way. You can use this to build new pages so you don't need a knock-knock on your door when a new landing page needs to be created with some new layout with some new composition. And things like personalization can be done better. The API can deliver a different set of components with different inputs for each visitor based on things we know about them what they browse, what they shop, if they're a new visitor or a return visitor, etc. Traditionally, people try and solve these problems with JavaScript hacks. They try and add blocking JavaScript that injects A-B test variations and injects personalizations, and those things have a negative impact on your performance. But choosing a server-driven UI as an alternative can give you all of the same features and functionalities, but without the performance cost. So if you've had a use case this makes sense for, I'd be curious to know in the comments if you think this is a technique that is valuable.